So it's Thursday and just been playing some tennis with a buddy of mine, had a really great hit out. Did some uh, training this morning, lifted some weights uh, with my long-term PT, Felicity. And uh, it's, been a, it's been an interesting journey. For those of you who have not lost a parent, it's, uh, it's, it's something else. Something else. Like, I knew that my father was going to die. And now that it's happened, it's still a shock. Still a shock. So, uh, I'm finding it hard to focus. And uh, I, was, I was up last night. Tired and... I just had this feeling of anxiety about the eulogy. I'm on the eulogy, speaking of my father. Um, for those of you who don't know, Owen G, uh, many years, 10,000 babies, never lost a mother. Very, he was very proud of that fact, never lost a mother. He was, he was proud of that fact. Uh, very skilled operator, decisive, and I've been sitting with the, the call to ONG. Like, it's a specialty that you have a responsibility. I've been talking about the phone calls that would come at night, and there was no decision to be made. There was no choice. There was just getting out of bed and going. The decision had already been made. Go. 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 No matter how you feel, no matter how tired you are, you go. You get up and go. There is no choice. There is no decision. You go. That baby, that baby, its life could hang in the balance. I think he knew that. One minute, two minutes lying in bed, a risk of falling back asleep and they call again. None of that. None of that. There was just the work. Do the work and go. So it's interesting to reflect on this man's life, bringing it down to a 12-minute eulogy. And my brothers and sisters are speaking, and one of our family friends who's a doctor who has worked with Dad for a long time is speaking, and my grandmother, who's still alive, will tell stories of his childhood, and it's going to be a special event. But I was sitting there, and I was like, I'm nervous and anxious, and... It's like, you know what, I'm just going to start, just get down a rough draft, no matter what it's like. And it started to flow and come and insights and this piece fits here and this piece fits here and this piece fits here and I've got a first draft. And do you know the most amazing thing on the other side of work that has to be done that's playing on my mind, anxiety, worried, guess where it's at? It's at doing the work. Sit down, 45 minutes later, I'm like, oh, wow. Memories coming through. Stories. So I'm going to be a little sketchy. I'm noticing that. Forgetful of where I parked the car or how to make the credit card work or various things, but that comes with the territory. And so over time, this will settle, but... What I'm falling back on is the routine and the established repetition of meditation and exercise and reaching out to family and friends and seeing this influx of love and appreciation for my father and continuing to work on improving my knowledge and my skills and sharing the journey with you. Someone has the courage to step up and say, hey, this is what it's like. I spoke to my buddy and he, he shared that there's been a lot of work around death and grief and not much about the celebration and the release and the freedom on the other side. I was working through a conversation with spirit and I got to this place where death is freedom. And part of my spiritual path has been to die, to die, to die again. Not physically, not the heart stopping, but to who I was being. And I'm going through it now. As my father goes through his physical death, and then the responsibility for the patriarchy of my entire family comes to me. As the eldest son and doctor, that there is a leadership required. 
and that you may benefit from this as well. That you are a leader for your patients, for your family, for yourself. And that there are skill sets, mindsets, ways of thinking, ways of living that have been proven to work, giving you clinical certainty. I don't think it's going to get easier. I've heard that for years, 2011, 2012, 2013, 24. Next year it's going to be easier. Next year it's going to be easier. I just don't see it coming, so you've got to get better. So if you're interested in that, you got a choice. One is direct message me. Hit the message on the Graduate Medicine Facebook page. Send me a message. Let me know what's going on for you. Where are you at? You had a parent die. You're having problems with your kids. You're having problems with your marriage. It's your body suffering. Drinking too much. Smoking. You're just lacking connection. Lacking connection to all that is. There's solutions for this stuff. Results that are possible. That's a conversation that interests you. Head over Facebook page, Graduate Medicine. Send me a message or, or, choice number two, choice dos. <laughs> GradualMedicine.com. Click on the button there. Take you through to clinical certainty. All right, that's all I got.